Hello, my name is Dr. Megan Brown and I am a physical therapist. I am a member of the American Physical Therapy Association. As we are at home, it is super important to keep moving. As physical therapists, we are the movement people and now more than ever for our mental clarity, mental strength, lung capacity, and our immune system, now is the time to exercise. So I will be giving you a few things that you can do at home. You don't need any equipment. You don't even really need workout clothes. I didn't even wear sneakers. So it's low impact. Uh, grab a big, thick towel. You don't even need a yoga mat. I actually rarely use mats. Um, but grab a towel, the thicker the better. In fact, grab a few so you can even Roll your towel out as a mat, um, and then grab another bath towel of some kind to support your knees. So we'll get started. I did allude to the fact that it's important to work on your lung function. And so there are a few exercises I'm going to give you that are not only super great for your spine, but also will promote great respiratory health. That's back in my day of chest physical therapy. Did you all know that that was a thing? So we're gonna reach the crown of the head long, and we're just gonna get centered here. I'm turning so you can see my back. I want you to think about sitting tall on your sit bones, so if you were to wiggle side to side, you feel those little sit bones underneath you. Try to sit tall on those so you're in a neutral spine. If that's hard for you, you can just reach your legs out until you can find that position and hold here. So, length and reach of the crown of the head, and we're gonna start that breathing exercise. So if you look at my hands here, they're a model of your rib cage. I want you to think about your ribs expanding on the inhale, and on the exhale, feel the ribs squeeze the air out. You can place your hands on the sides of the ribs, and on the inhale, feel the ribs resist in the hands, and on the exhale, feel the ribs squeeze in. So again, my hands are modeling your ribs on the inhale, and then on the exhale, they squeeze out. So let's deepen our breathing, and of course you all know this, that breath can reduce stress, but did you know that breathing deeply can also improve your lung function? And especially in this time, it's great to have that lung capacity. So let's move a little bit through the trunk that can also coax the ribs to understand what we're doing here. So we're gonna reach the arm up, one hand goes down, it allows for the side bend, and then we're gonna come up and over to the opposite direction. So we're just warming up the spine here. Up and over, crown of the head reaching long. Try to keep your head right on top of your spine instead of leading with it. So reaching up, reaching over. Inhale up, exhale over. Thinking again about that rib cage breathing. You also might notice that if you're sitting tall and neutral, that that's hard on your abdominals. You're doing it right. So your core muscles are the deep muscles that help support your spine. And when we sit in neutral, just maintaining that neutral position can be a challenge for the core. Inhale up, exhale over, good. So now we'll take it to a rotation move. So sitting nice and tall, twist through your rib cage and sit using your one hand over onto the opposite knee. That's your leverage. Good, looking over the shoulder and then opposite direction, inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist, and I have my other hand back behind me to make sure I've got good leverage. Inhale, sit tall, stay here. Exhale, twist, and look over. Good. So we're almost done with all of the motions of the spine and promoting breath with our spinal movements. Now take your towel. We're going to go to a hands and knee position. It's a very famous move in yoga. I use a lot of Pilates. I teach Pilates. That's my model of, of my clinic as I run a Pilates and yoga studio and we have very specific programs for people. So this move I love to warm up the spine but also engage the abdominals and the spinal accessories. So hands are going to be directly underneath your shoulders, not out in front of you right here. Another important tip is to not lock out your elbows. Okay, so especially if you have wrist pain, you have all these teeny bones in there, we want to support the wrist. So this way, when you have soft elbows and your shoulders are over your ears, now we're using your trunk to stabilize. So let's 
work through our breath here. We're gonna exhale and arch up. And then inhale, we're gonna look just past the mat to reverse that curve. So don't look straight ahead. It's a little too much for the neck in the beginning of this. So lengthen up the crown of your head just like you did when you were sitting. And let's flow with this. Exhale, arching up. Inhale, reversing that curve. Keep pulling your abs up the whole time. Exhale, arching up. Scoop the abs up. Inhale, reverse. This time I want you to hold this arch up. So big Halloween cat here. Draw your front ribs up. Draw your belly button up and draw right below your belly button. Scoop that up. Holding here, again, still light in the hands. Holding for five. Stretching through the ribs up here. Four. Breathing deeply. Three, two, and we're going to reverse that on one. Inhale. Look just past your mat. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Aim the tip of your tail up. Good. Holding here. Lengthening five. Breathing four. I'm already out of breath. Maybe you are too. Three, two, one. And now let's see what it feels like in between these two positions. Okay, we're just gonna wait the stabilizers up here. So this is right in between there. We'll call that neutral spine, but that's a whole other video. So holding this, let's reach the crown of your head long towards that wall, the tip of your tail long back behind you. Now try not to shift your weight, try not to move anything, reach one leg back and reach the opposite arm forward. See how my thumb is up like I'm hitchhiking? Remember those days? Keep reaching long shoulders or out of the ears. Now, look what's happening to your other or elbow. Rather, Did you lock it out? Try to keep it soft. Now I feel that more right here in my trunk, holding five, breathing four, three, two. This is very difficult. Don't shift your weight, don't shift your weight. Bring your knee down. Good, then bring the arm down. Hold here, arch up. Inhale, reverse. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, big exhale. Blow the air out. Scoop the abs up. Inhale, reverse. Find what feels like in between those two positions. You're right there. Now lock that in place without moving your spine. So without arching up, that's the tendency. Scoop your abs up. Hold the length in the crown of the head. Here we go. No shifting. Keep the elbows unlocked. Reach and stretch the opposite leg. Keep squaring your torso down to the mat. Hold that position, keep your elbows soft, lots of weight on the pinky sides of your hands, and here we go. Exhale, reach and stretch the opposite hand. Thumbs up, right? We're gonna do this, we're gonna make it. Keep reaching long, shoulders out of your ears, unlock your elbow, holding five, pull the abs up, four, three, two, one. Now, everyone knows this move, we call this bird dog in physical therapy, but here's what we want you to do. Make this hard. So imagine that you're balancing something in the low back, you're pulling your abs up. I am shaking just thinking about this, as opposed to watch the difference, watch the difference. I could do this all day. This means nothing to me, okay? But this, if I really think about my alignment and try not to shift, I don't know if you can see me shaking there and I work out every day, okay? That's what I want you to practice. Good, let's arch up cat. Inhale, reverse. You can hear I'm out of breath. Find what feels like in between those two positions. Same thing. Let's lock this here. Pull your abs up. Long spine. Try not to shift. Step one foot back in plank. This should be hard. Inhale, don't move anything. On the exhale, step the other leg back in plank. Hold. Soften your elbows. Holding five. Please soften your elbows. It's hard, isn't it? Four. Keep softening your elbows. Three, two, one, let's rock that child's pose. Good. My favorite wrist stretch is to flip the palms, make a fist, and nod the knuckles towards you, nod away. So a little knuckle nod, I like to call them. Or soft buttons. Good. Three, two, one. Let's do one more plank. You're in your neutral spine. We're going to step back, hold. Don't shift. Step back, hold. Reach the crown of the head. Reach the tip of the tail. Hold five. Breathing four. Three, two, keep scooping the abs up, soften the elbows. Last one, last child's pose for now, relaxing. So in your child's pose position, I want you to scoop your abdominal wall. Okay, so from your front ribs all the way down into the front of your pelvis. Scoop that up, don't hold your breath, don't suck in. So scoop your abs up here and take deep breaths into the side and back to the rib, just like we practiced in the beginning. Keep drawing your belly out. 
Nice. From here, we're going to take it onto our backs. In fact, make that part of the move, even just transitioning from your front to your back. Good. From here, we're going to do one of my favorite moves ever is a bridge. The first version, we're going to peel down and peel up. Inhale, peel the spine up. Exhale, peel the spine down. A few things I want you to be aware of is keep your rib cage down. So if you, you should feel your shoulder blades down on the mat right here. Keep your shoulder blades down on the mat. Pull your abs down and reach your knees long. So peeling down one vertebra, peeling up one vertebra. Good. Let's time that with our breath. Exhale, peel up. Inhale, peel down. Let's reverse that. Inhale, peel up. Exhale, peel down. Let's change that. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to move. Inhale at the top. Exhale to move. Inhale, prep. Exhale, move. Inhale, prep. Exhale, hold. Good. So now, let's take it all the way up again. Holding here. Let's get your shoulders underneath you, your ribs down, your neck is relaxed. There's no pillow under your head, so take that away. Everything's flat. You're pulling your abs down, belly button, lower belly, rib cage. All of that is down. The thighs are stretching. The hamstrings and the glutes should be working, okay? So from here, we're going to do a little dip on one side and squeeze it back up. Little dip and squeeze. So now, I use this with everyone. Everyone can benefit from this. But there are a few groups of people that I see all the time, and um, that's human beings. So any human being can benefit from this, especially human beings that are runners, human beings who are cyclists, like if that's your sport, if you are gearing up for a triathlon, I love this one. See how my knees are barely moving? I'm just dipping one side of the pelvis, then the other. Dip, and then the other. Good, let's go five, five, four, four, three, three. Keep squeezing, squeeze your glute at the top, squeeze, squeeze. Now, let's reset, inhale, down, exhale, up, inhale to prepare, exhale down, inhale to prepare, exhale, lift up. Now, remember when we did dip on that side? Now don't dip at all. So keep that up. You're going to reach, this is hard, we're just prepping you, so maybe walk your feet together. Keep this part of your pelvis level, so don't let it dip like you did, and let's reach and stretch that leg up. I told you, it was going to be hard. We're going to flex and point the foot right here, and then extend the knee. It's a little side of nerve glide here. Three, two, one. Now let's replace that. That was hard, yes. A lot on the other side. Peeling down with the breath. Peeling up with the breath. Hold. Now don't let the other side dip. Keep that there. Big exhale. Reach it up. Woo, that's hard. Make sure you're reaching this opposite knee long. Pushing through that heel. Flex and point the foot. Bend and straighten in the knee. Good. Three, ooh, I can really feel the zing on this side. Two, nothing in your neck. Last one. Good, let's hold that down. We're gonna stay up here. Let's walk the feet out to the side. Yes, this is hard. I'm with you. Pull your abs down, so pull your rib cage down. Pull your belly button down. Pull your lower belly down. But squeeze, you see my glutes going crazy? Squeeze your glutes right here. Reach your knees long. Good, and we're going to go all the way down, don't peel, and all the way up. Let's go five. Let's just warm up. Four, three, two, last one. Let's hold up here. We're going to pop up onto the toes. Yep, that's a lot. Sink your chest down. Open up your groin here. So if you have this little crease right there, you either have a little tightness in the front of your hip, or your glutes aren't squeezing enough. So squeeze your glutes and lift. Pull your abs down and count it up. Holding here, tiny pulse of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold there on one. Take a deep breath in, pull your abs down, squeeze your glutes. Tiny pulse is eight, seven, six. I am not moving anything from my rib cage up. Good, last one, hold, squeeze, lift up higher, pull your abs down, sink your chest, pull your rib cage down. Last eight, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, hold. 
You got everything ready, but you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. Just hold your position. Pull your abs down. Holding for five. Four. I'm dying, by the way. Like, this is not easy. Three. Two. One. Good. Oh my gosh. Come all the way down. Now, I am a big fan of the glutes. This is one of my favorite glute stretches. You've probably seen this. Just a figure four stretch. So one ankle crosses on the opposite side. Take your hand if you can through that hole you make with your legs. This elbow will go up. Three, two, one. Little twisty. I like to move through my stretching routines. Let's reach the legs up. Let's grab the head. Cradling the head. You're never pulling on your neck with ad hoc. This is just a transition. Pull your abdominals down. And let's go ahead and come all the way down and we'll do the other side. Good. You'll find that in Pilates, and especially in my classes, we don't really waste any time. I like to take transitions and make sure that we're working as we transition so that we're utilizing every single minute. Three, two, one. Great. From here, let's roll right back over into our plank. Holding for five, four, three, getting settled, two, one. We're going to rock back, stretch the wrist. This time we're going to come into a low plank. I want you to be super active in your outer armpit. Have your forearms parallel. There's geometry again. We knew it would come back and home to you. Now you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together as your whole body lowers down. And then your whole body levitates as your shoulder blades separate. So down and up. Exhale. Shoulders out of the ears. I don't want any pinching in the neck. Keep recruiting shoulders out of the ears. And you know what? If you can't do as many as I can do, which I didn't do that many, please just rest. It's better to do the full form than it is to, to basically cheat in the move. Cheating in the move is what we would call compensation. So it's way better to get all of your form, okay? So this would be great form right here, if I do say to myself. This is where I'm starting to lose it, okay? Is if I start to sag in my back and start to recruit other muscles, okay? So that may be why you're feeling it in your neck. Okay, pressing back, child's pose. Releasing the spine, we're getting a really good core workout. Now we're going to go back to entire body work. So grab your fluffy towel. That's going to be part of the support for your knees. Okay, again, I said I'm a big fan of the glutes. So we're going to come down on one forearm, pull your abs up. This hand is going to be light. It's just there for stability. Your knee's going to go out to the side and you're going to reach up long. Good. So knee comes out to the side. Please make sure your knee is higher than your foot. This kind of thing disengages the muscle that we're going for. So it does, you don't have to lift it as high as I am. I do this a lot. It can be this low, okay? So as long as your knee is higher than your foot, make sure you can check that. And then you're gonna reach up and back right at your midline. Your midline is about the, the center of your body where your spine is. So knee out, reach up. Knee out, reach up, good. Let's go eight. Seven, keep reaching. Knee out, pull your abs up. Lift up from the armpits. Three, great, two. Last one, you can hear I'm out of breath, so hold there. Flex and point your foot for three, two, one. Let's do a flexed version. Lock the knee, point your belly button down towards the mat, tiny lift, squeeze the glute, lift. What? let's do eight. Eight, seven, six, Five, keep pulling your abs up. Keep lifting from your armpits. Active in your upper body. Two, one, hold it there. Let's do a pointed toe version. Good. Again, lift through the armpits. So you're not just dumping in the upper body here. You're lifting and you're active. Lift and lift. Please lock the knee. Please keep the knee locked. Okay, everyone pause. That's unlocked. Lock it. It's totally fine to lock your knee. That is a mess. Good, let's lift up, squeeze. And eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold up there. Let's come down onto both forearms. Please look down. Have that long spine again. Bend your knee, flex your foot. We're going to go up. That's the start position right there. It's up, up, hold. Lift, lift, squeeze. Up, up, hold. Lift, lift, squeeze. Eight, eight, hold. Seven, keep squeezing your glutes. Six, pull your abs up. Five, strong in your shoulder blades. Four, strong in the outer armpit. 
Long spine. Three, I didn't forget it. Two. And last one. Let's rock that child's pose. Woo, good. Now it's a good time to give our spine just a little bit of a reset move. I love this position. This is called a Z sit. So you're sitting on one side and your knees bend to the other. Let's go up and over. To switch lengthen your spine, up and over. To switch lengthen your spine, up and over. Good. Three and two and one. And let's take it back to the mat to the other side. Good. From here, make sure, I just want to check in a little bit with your hands. I just want to make sure that we're not dumping into the hands. If you felt that in the rest on the other side, lift up more with your chest, rib cage, and outer armpit. So we're down on the other forearm now. Light pressure on the hand. The knee comes out to the side. This is a good other angle. So knee out and reach. So just so you can see, this is the one your knee is higher than your foot. That's important. Remember that gets the specific muscle. I don't want any clicking or anything in your hip. So if you do feel clicking, just lower the range a little bit. That's totally fine. Squeezing at the top. So your knee straightens up the top and your leg lifts higher, a lot higher than your body, higher than your trunk. Eight, seven, six, Pull your abs up, strong armpits. Two, hold it up and back, flex and point the foot, flex and point, flex and point. Great. Let's do a flexed version, lock your knee, lift, turn your torso slightly down, light on the hand, armpits active. Eight, reaching. Seven, long neck, six, breathing, deep breaths, right? Four, Three, keep reaching and stretching the leg, lock the knee. Last one, hold up at the top, keep it up at the top. You can do this, I know. You're squeezing, you gotta squeeze your bum. Squeeze it with your brain, point the toe, lift up and up. Good, are you ready to count? Here we go, it's eight, lift, seven, six, keep reaching, keep pulling your abs up. Notice how I'm not jerking at all, I'm not shifting my weight, I'm not pulling the movement into my spine at all. I'm pulling my abs up. Last one, hold the leg up. Let's come down onto the forearms. We're almost there. Pull your abs up, especially the ribs. Belly, lower belly. Bend the knee, flex the foot. Lift, lift, up. Lift, lift, reach. Watch for things like this. Looking straight ahead, look down. Don't look straight ahead. Up, up, that's eight. Seven, seven, squeeze. Nothing in the back. Six, six, hold. Five, five, squeeze the glute. Mine is burning. This is four, nothing in your spine. You gotta stop if you feel it in your back, please. Three, mm-hmm, I am out of breath. You should be two. <laughs> That's one, and done, uh, nice work. Good, we're gonna take it to the other side for the Z-sit. Reaching up, see how I have this little shift over one way first, and then it's up and over. Let's lift the chest, lift the spine to switch sides. That's important. Let's add the breath. Inhale up, exhale over. Inhale up, exhale over. Last few. Last one. Great, now that we're already in the seated position, we're gonna close this out. Thank you for hanging in there. You've done great work. You're working great muscles. We're just gonna have our hands underneath the knees. Please put them here and not here. So hands underneath your knees. We're going to inhale, sit tall. Have enough space in between your feet so that you can feel like you can comfortably maintain a neutral spine. On the exhale, we're going to scoop the abs back. So inhale, lift up. There's that breath again. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Look just to the top of your wall. And on the exhale, draw the abdominals back. So let's flow with that one. Inhale, up. Exhale, scoop and round. Inhale, sit tall. So we're working the lower abdominals here and upper, because we're really having the control in the rib cage there. Inhale, sit tall. Let's hold this last one. Hold that scoop right there. You're gonna pull your abdominals back. I want your elbows wide like this, not in. I tend that tends to recruit the neck. So keep your elbows wide. And this is a brain exercise. So crunches, there's no doubt that you're working. This one, we're really gonna connect with the deep abdominals here. So on the exhale, Pull your abdominal wall back. 
Your abdominal wall is your rib cage, belly button, and lower belly. So scoop that back, but you're breathing, right? So there's that difference between sucking in and pulling in. Good, holding. Now, try not to hinge with your shoulders. Try to tuck with your bum. Keep your spine long, though. Scoop your ab back and just hold down one second. Good, inhale. On the exhale, scoop. Now you're holding on to your legs for your life. That's good, inhale. On the exhale, scoop. Inhale, relax the neck. On the exhale, scoop. Inhale, on the exhale, scoop. Inhale, on the exhale, scoop. Stay here, pull your abs down, pull your bow down, reach. Reach, start pumping. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, nice work. You should not have felt that in your back. We're just gonna do a little twist to end. Inhale, look at your opposite hand as your knees go one way. On the exhale, let's switch, other side. Inhale here. On the exhale, let's push up to where we started, which was seated position. It's just checking with your spine. Right now, you should feel a little winded, maybe a little worked over as if you worked just about every muscle in your body, because you, you kind of did. Good, and let's check in where we began. So crown of the head reaching up long. You're sitting on the sit bones, so your spine is in neutral. You're not rounded in your lumbar spine. Good, and let's just do a little head tilt one way. Let's take that opposite arm and put it in the lumbar spine. That's your little back. We're gonna add a little nod, yes. Yes, I did good work for myself. Good, it's important to take care of your body. That's what keeps you healthy is exercise, staying in tune with you. Good, we're gonna release the arm on one side, let the head hang over to the front, and then over to the other side. Again, your nose is pointing towards me. Let's take that opposite arm, place it in the lumbar spine, let your low back, lift your chest, so don't lose your neutral spine. Good, and nod. Yes. Yes, we will get through this. Yes, choose PT. Yes, I have loads of people who appreciate the fact that I am their exercise instructor, but I'm really always a PT first. So yes, reach out to your physical therapist. If something is going on with your body, we treat lots of different kinds of functional needs. Good, let's release there, arm first, let the head just hang. Inhale, rise, we're gonna give a deep breath. Inhale, up. On the exhale, we're gonna twist one way, grab that knee for leverage. And then inhale back to center. On the exhale, let's twist the other way. Grab that knee for leverage. And back to center. Again, my name is Dr. Megan Brown. Thank you for hanging in there with me and working your body. You did great things for your spine, your trunk, and specific muscles that tend to get stressed, especially when you worked on your lung capacity.